we have a rodent problem in the barn. Now, thankfully, we're not talking about big old giant rats. We are talking about just your average uh, barn mouse, uh, wild field mice have gone into the barn. So um, it's a winter time. Mice like to go inside where it's warmer, where there's food, where there's water, where there's shelter, where they can have a safe place to raise their babies. And unfortunately, one of those places usually is a barn on a farm. We actually don't have a big, a big mouse problem, but they are in there. So there's a couple things we're gonna do today to hopefully eliminate our mouse problem. Um, we do have a population of black rat snakes that live in there, including a big old mama that's probably about six feet long. But we are going to try a few things that uh, we got at the feed store, the tractor supply, and I'm going to share them with you and we're going to see if they work or not. This is uh, the first thing that my wife picked up. Rodent repeller. It's a light bulb that repels rodents. Who knew, right? Um, so it says it's perfect for crawl spaces, attics, garage, pantries, kitchens, closets, basements. How about a barn? And it says that it repels up to uh, 400 square feet, silent to humans and non-rodent pets. So it says here the sonic waves produced by this new uh, pest-free living two-in-one rodent repeller LED bulb are silent to humans and non-rodent pets and is tested proven to repel 400 square feet. So sonic waves are emitted from this light bulb. It irritates the rodents and it causes them to leave the area. A discrete red indicator light shows you when it's repelling, whether the LED light is on or off and replaces any standard light bulb in your home. So let's go ahead and plug this in. We're gonna put this in our uh, well closet or water closet basically. Um, and we're gonna uh, replace the light bulb first. And uh, there's two more things I want to show you. It is dark in here. Um, I'm hoping you can uh, see in here. So this is our barn. Uh, we do have a couple animals in here right now, just two silky chickens. Um, there's our silky chicks. But for the most part, we don't have any animals in here right now. We have had our pigs in here in the past. We've had horses in here. If it was really cold, we've had goats in here. But really right now, we try to keep the animals outside unless it's gonna be really, really cold or a lot of snow or an injured animal. Um, we do have feed bins. So there's our feed bins. We did purposely get these metal cans because that's going to, first of all, they're not gonna crack when it gets cold or if they get too heavy, saves us money, but also they're a lot more rodent proof so that's one of the reasons we got them. But of course, you know, uh, food falls down. Even if you're careful, there's always going to be a little bit of food that's going to uh, fall down um, uh, whenever you're getting, you know, your animal buckets ready to feed. So this here is our water closet. And I do got to do some work in here, people. We've had a mouse problem in here before. Um, they've chewed up our insulation. Um, so there is evidence of rodents in here for sure so you can maybe see that's actually a uh snake skin and i don't know if we can see any, any more snake skins up here but we normally can see quite a few snake skins especially in the summertime there's a snake skin hanging down I don't see any more. Oh, here's another one. There's another snake skin. So we do have, like I said, we have black rats. And those do help. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this light bulb. It's gonna replace the bulb that's in our uh, well closet here. And then I'm gonna show you the other two things we're gonna try. Wow. I just replaced the light bulb. I can actually hear it. it says that it's uh, 
that we're not supposed to be able to hear it. I can hear it. I guess I have uh, rat ears, maybe. Uh, I don't see the red light on there. It's supposed to have a red light, so maybe if I turn it again, it'll be adjusted and I won't hear it. But I can definitely hear that sonic wave. Okay, so here's the second thing we're going to do is I got these uh, plug-in things that also emit a high frequency. These are called rodent repellers, and it includes a nightlight, people. It says it repels rats and mice. It's convenient to use indoors. You plug into the socket, yada, yada, yada. It has a high-frequency ultrasound to repel rodents. Um, so let's plug these in inside, and hopefully these are going to keep the mice away. Gotta find the plugs though. Where should we put the plugs? Okay, we got three of these. We'll kind of space them out around the whole barn here. Okay, so I'm gonna put one right here, or I already did, so that tells me that it's on. And it makes it a little nightlight. I don't think it's gonna be that uh, effective. But really, really, I wanna get, um, this area is where the mice like to eat because this is where the food drops down. So I want to plug one in right there. Boop, boop, boop. So that's helped. Uh, that's hopefully going to help. And then um, I'm going to try to get one maybe right here. And that's just going to space out our area as much as possible. I'm hoping that those are higher up uh, than, you know, most electric sockets. So hopefully that still helps. There's one more thing I'm gonna show you that we bought from the store, and I think it's gonna work. So let me share it with you. Rat magic. So this repels rodents. It says it naturally dries rodents from around homes, garages, garden sheds, patios, wood piles, barns. Barns, stables, cellars, and trash cans. It says it treats up to a thousand square feet. It says it's animal safe for uh, pets, people and pet safe. Uh, it's basically cedarwood oil, castor oil, clove oil, peppermint oil. It basically just repels them. They don't eat it or anything, I don't think. Um, it won't harm lawns, gardens, flower beds. How it works, it says. The unique blend of ingredients in this product triggers escape and avoidance behavior in rodents. This balanced blend of natural essential oils humanely provides maximum repellency without harm to rodents and other animals. Uh, let me see, this is how we use it. Sprinkle band two feet wide next to and around the area you wish to protect. It is not necessary to completely cover the ground. One pound will treat a band two feet wide by 100 feet in length. If after two weeks, no rodents have been observed, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you can do a broadcast application indoors i'm just gonna put this around our uh feed uh cans and there's a hole there's a burrow that i'm gonna put this down so uh let's do this so again we do a relatively good job of keeping our area clean but i do admit that uh our barn does need a good spring cleaning i did sweep it a couple weeks ago uh but you know it's not perfect so, so I'm going to be putting this rat magic around our, uh, sorry, I'm trying to get into the stall here. Uh, so I'm going to put the rat magic around our food, but let me also show you, and it may be hard for you to see it because, uh, it's dark in here. This is where we had our pigs last year. Um, and there's a little burrow. Let me try to get this. Uh, I know it's dark in here, people. Okay, I am in our barn stall. Um, I know you can't see anything because it's so dark in here, but there is, down there in the corner, rat magic, there is a little mouse burrow. So I'm gonna put this rat magic in there as well. So those are just a few things we're doing to get the mice out of here. But again, you know, we're not, you know, against putting traps up. Uh, we have put traps before, mouse traps with peanut butter. That really, really does a good job. Uh, but this is just, you know, some supplemental stuff we're gonna do. This is step one to get the mice out of here. 
really what I need to really do, um, there's a leak that's turned off right now. I need to fix that leak because the mice love having that water source. Uh, and I need to fix the barn door um, because it's not, uh, well, it's broken, people. It needs to get fixed. Uh, there's a big gap in it, so it's really easy for mice to get in here. And then what I really else need to do is on top of the foundation, this is a cinder block foundation. Uh, there's these gaps in the cinder blocks where the mice like to build their homes. So right there, there's a little gap. That's a mouse house, people. Mouse house, mouse house. So every two feet or so, there's these gaps. And the mice love to go in them. I mean, I don't blame them. So I need to put... Uh, like a two by four or a two by two all around this entire edge. And that's gonna at least eliminate that area so that uh, there's less friendly places for the mice to go, right? The harder it is to hide, the more likely I will get rid of the mice. Um, so again, this is just the very beginning of making this a mouse free zone if you have any ideas any suggestions i would love to hear it in the comments um if you like this video click subscribe say hello and check out this next video it's somewhere around here i think right here